Welcome to the Fermented Homestead. My name is Anna and today I'm going to bring you along for the rest of the day that I have going on here and we're going to do a couple of things, uh, some pretty exciting things for the homestead around here and the first thing we're going to do is, as along with every human being in America who gardens, I got this awesome thing in the mail. I got it a few days ago and I forced myself to wait until my day off and I'm going to go through it and I'm gonna do a little bit of dreaming. I have no idea how to actually show you what I'm doing in here, but I'm gonna try and figure it out. And if I don't, then we're just gonna skip ahead to the next thing that I have going on, which I will tell you about when we're getting it started. So the reason that this is so exciting to me is number one, I love Baker Creek seeds. And that's pretty much mostly where I buy them. I buy them at my local co-op as well, but any mail order seeds, for the most part, I get from Baker Creek seeds if they have it available. And uh, the other reason is that it is our first garden in our new homestead. And so we are hopefully going to be having a really big garden this year. And we're planning on logging uh, some of our property. We're hoping not to have to do all of it, but it kind of just depends on safety and things like that. And that will determine how much of our property that we actually log. Uh, but yeah, we just want to be able to make a garden and some pastures and things like that in our property. And so this is going to be the first year that we're actually going to be able to do a real homestead garden and I'm super excited and so I get to dream a little bit more than I got to the last several years when I was doing the gardening and we just had container gardens so I'm pretty excited and I'm just gonna kind of bring you along and show you some of the ones that make me excited and the things that I am going to hopefully be buying and planting this coming spring so, so let me bring you in a little bit close and I'll show you all the prettiness the first thing that I'm gonna do I'm just gonna kind of go through the catalog and I'm just going to put a big old star next to everything that I really think that I want to grow. And that's all that this session is. This is simply a dream about the garden session and that's about all it is. It's not gonna be practicality for the most part. It's just gonna be everything that's pretty that I wanna grow is gonna get a nice big old red star. And then later on, I'm gonna go through and actually kind of whittle it down and figure out what I'm actually gonna grow and um, what seeds that I have and which seeds that we're going to need to actually purchase. So this is just a wonderful dreaming session here. I look forward to this catalog every single year. And it's amazing. One of the things that is gonna kind of be motivating my garden for this year is being able to supplement the feed of the animals that I plan on growing. And also kind of like most people don't really know what it is, but oxalate content, I'm kind of trying to limit that because I just have a reaction to it. And so I have to avoid it. My husband does not. So he's gonna, he has his own catalog. I ordered him one and he was surprised when it showed up in the mail. So we each have our own one. So I'm sure he's gonna go through his and pick the ones that he wants. And so this is just gonna be the ones that I want. And then we'll kind of merge it together and figure out which ones we both want. Since we are starting our homestead, I think that probably perennials and things like that are annuals. I still don't have those two straight. But anyways, the ones that keep coming back are going to be ones that I'm going to want to get started so that we can continue to enjoy them as long as we're here. So I love asparagus. And of course, our jokes. I'm realizing I might put a star next to every single one, so this might not be the best plan. <laughs> oh, with beans, kind of my goal with beans, uh, this last year I tried fermenting green beans and it was delicious. They were so, so amazingly good, but they definitely bothered my stomach a bit, so I'm really hoping that I can figure out a way to actually be able to consume them. And if I don't, then these are all just be canned. And so I'm looking for stuff that I can ferment as well as stuff that I can actually can. So that's kind of what I'm looking for with beans. Yeah, this is a bad idea. Everything's just so pretty. I don't want to grow it all. literally one bean on this page I didn't mark. Some black beans. Okay, I got 
got through the, the beans and I only marked 13 of them. I don't like lima beans, so I don't want to grow that one, but it's, I don't think it'll work in my climate. I have officially gotten to the bee section in my Baker's Creek catalog, so, and that's been like probably maybe a half an hour. <laughs> So I'm going to go ahead and move on to my next project while it's still light outside and then we're going to come back and I'm going to finish this up and get a little more clarity on my game plan with trying to pick out seeds this year. So we're going to go ahead and head outside and tackle the next project. It's a pretty awesome one, I'm not going to lie.